So, Billy, this is what a real life hazardous waste site looks like. I've been working this site for years. I'm an expert. So you're doing a random sampling and you know you have a hotspot. Where I worked before, we used a different sampling strategy for hotspots. Hey, look, every organization has a different approach. Now help me unload this truck. Where are the gloves? Uh, they're in the cab of the truck, but uh, I never use them myself. So, how did you do sampling in the past? <laughs> it's pretty obvious, isn't it? I mean, here's a scoop. Fill up the jar. Do you have any labels? Field logbook? Chain of custody form? Uh, I forgot them. There's no ice in this cooler. Yeah, we'll get some ice on the way back to the office. So what exactly are you looking for out here? Well, at first we were just looking for some metals. Then the state environmental department wanted us to check for levels of organic solvents. And every time somebody new gets involved in this project, they want more analyses. Yeah, we've had some problems with the samples, holding time violations, that sort of thing. So I guess we just have to keep sampling and see what we get. Well, when is it going to be enough? What are your data quality objectives? And for that matter, what is your exit strategy? I guess we just keep sampling until the money runs out. The scene you just witnessed, though fictitious, shows just a few of the reasons why this document and these accompanying documents were written. It's to avoid problems like the ones we saw in the video a few moments ago. Oh, Commander Smith, what can I do for you? Yes, I just received the QAP documents today. I know you were involved in their development. Thought I'd stop by to see if you could answer a few questions. I'll try. Why do we need another guidance document, and an interagency one at that? It's needed because existing guidance lacks the level of detail needed to address multiple agency expectations, resolve conflicts, and minimize rework. Are you sure this is going to work? Do you have any proof? I was at a conference the other day and saw this. The ultimate success of an environmental program or project depends on the quality of the environmental data collected and used in decision making. And this may depend significantly on the adequacy of the QAP and its effective implementation. Bottom line is, we need good data to make good decisions. You made a believer out of me. As a manager, you play a vital role in the successful implementation of this policy, and we're counting on your support.